this question from blank name. Fellow country person, how is your relationship with your nationality in history of your native country? Well, um, I think needless to say it? for Armin, it is quite contentious. Um, <laughs> uh, for me, I think that for my country, I think a certain degree of highly critical civic nationalism is a good thing. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that outright oppose any form of nationalism, but I think that there is a certain degree of nationalism that is important in maintaining and defending that country. And I think it is worthwhile when that country has values that are worth defending and protecting. And um, my country, I'm an American, um, falls short constantly, but we have aspirations that I still subscribe by and I think are worth working towards and trying to perfect becoming a more perfect union day and day, like day after day. Um, so I um, have um, a, uh, you know, I try to accept the things that my country has done wrong. I try to study them and understand how they came to be and how they can be um, prevented or what the warning signs are or how we're continuing to do these things into the present. Um, and what are the mechanisms that allow this to happen so that we can hopefully um, remedy the situation. Um, but I think having a, like I said, like a highly critical um, uh, patriotism is actually a good thing. Someone who is never um, going to accept just what is given, but constantly demand to be better for the sake of becoming a better nation um, and defending the values in which we were founded, which I think, although, like I said, we haven't lived up to them, are very worthwhile. Um, I think I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, it depends on what people mean by nationalism. I think there is, I have... You know, people say, oh, patriotism and nationalism is a different thing. And people just have their own definitions of what what they're talking about. Like, so there's, I, I just categorize all of these into three separate things, you know. I think one of, based on what some people say, one of these definitions is dangerous. Uh, one of these definitions, based, uh, based on the definitions that you're using, nationalism could be dangerous, could be harmless, um, and also useful okay so the the useful one the one that is helpful uh, which is people sometimes refer to as civic nationalism is the one that is recognizing that the best like the the concept of a nation and the concept of borders are very very useful right um and the idea of a nation state is the best model we have into as um, assigning um people that are supposed to be responsible for managing a certain geographical area. Like the invention of the concept of nation state has been a, a major benefit to society. Like we have nothing, we haven't come up with a better model, right? To, um, so it's a very good tool. It's a social construct and it's a very good one. Um, so the idea of like, yeah, borders and nations and stuff, like they, they make sense that you need them. If that's what you mean by nationalism, then yeah, I am, then consider me a nationalist, I guess. Um, if by that, so that that one was the beneficial one. The second one is the one that is harmless. If you like it, you could I, I enjoy it. If you don't, there's no harm in it. The second one would be the nostalgic one, the feeling of association. Like if you are nationalist in the sense that you grew up in this place, you have an emotional feeling towards it. The dances, the poetry, the food, the people. Um, you have this emotional. Um, attachment to it um, and you enjoy it you enjoy being around it if you're in a foreign if you live outside of a country once you see those colors those smells those you 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 get this flashback and you just want to be around it if you if that those feelings you you enjoy your country's history and the culture um, that is a form of 
you know that's a form that is completely harmless but if you don't have it you shouldn't be shamed for not having it if you have it you can enjoy it but other people who have it should not shame the people who don't have it if you don't like it there's nothing wrong with it and if you like it you can enjoy it so that's a harmless one and the third one is the harmful form of nationalism which is what i would describe as people who think that they're somehow superior um because to other people because they belong to a certain country that they're yeah, and I oppose that. yeah that they're deserving of more rights that they are that they will take the side of the people um that are just happen to have been born in that geographic area just because you were uh, over other people just because they have you know, just because you are also being born in that geographic area like if, if you see the interests and the desires and of those people as more important and uh, more of a priority to you than the other people in the world just because people some people were born in that area is if that's what you see as nationalism as then that's a very destructive and harmful form ideology and it needs to be eradicated so that form of nationalism is the, is what i what i oppose yeah i think like i said like a highly critical um uh self reflective civic nationalism is a good thing because it um given that your country holds values that are worth aspiring to um we need people to defend that to be willing to defend that. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.